talked to Chris Catelli, told me he was going to do what he had to do. And when I got in contact with the, with the director, man, he was not only supportive, he was active. He was quick to respond. He, 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 he did not go past, he acknowledged me. Acknowledging me. Acknowledgement means so much. He could have taken this the wrong way. Understand that this could have gone either way. This was happening. They decided to join. It's my constitutional right to do this. They didn't have to be a part of this. Good evening, everybody. First, I just want to start by thanking Matthew. Woo! What Matthew did here tonight was not only bring together a community, but he brought together a community and its police department. Yeah. Those two components are in every municipality in the country. You have police and you have citizens. One cannot function without the other. And over 200 years ago... Would you like to use this? Let's speak right into it. They know how to use those. <laughs> I wanted to thank Matthew for bringing everyone together as a community. Having the courage to do something like this and bring together not just the community, but bring together a community and its police department together. Yeah. What happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota was a disgrace not only to that police department, but to the law enforcement protect profession as a whole. It was an embarrassment for all of the hardworking, trusting men and women that put badges on for the community every day. In this police department, our mayor, Michael Venezia, and me, and our command staff, instill in our officers every single day that everyone you encounter, no matter what the situation is, you treat everyone with dignity and you treat everyone with respect. Treat everyone as if you were dealing with a family member, as if you would want your mother dealt with, your father dealt with, your brother, your sister, your wife, no matter what the situation is. of this police department is that if any one of my officers ever did even a fraction of what happened in Minneapolis and acted un un unproper improperly during an arrest, a motor vehicle stop, or any encounter, the discipline would be swift and harsh. Woo! And that person would be removed from the <laughs> Over the past five years, We've put together community building programs that are unprecedented in this area. Our Junior Youth Academy for the last four years. I don't know if there's any kids that are here right now that have, that have attended it in the summer from the middle school or the high school. But these things like this, our Community um, Police Academy, our Senior Police Academy, all programs that are built on bringing the police and the community together. Not only meeting us and knowing what we do, but building relationships that last not just for that time period, but relationships that last a lifetime and pass down to generations to keep the community and the police as one. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's asking me about a vice documentary that was done about a year and a half or two years ago and how I would respond to that. Well, I've responded to it numerous times. The mayor and I held open town hall meetings where the police department was basically set up to look bad based on skewed data. And when we brought the proper data forward, and we are the only police department that tracks the racial data of every motor vehicle stop that our police officers conduct in this town. Now, I'm gonna be quick because I know there's a lot of people that wanna talk, but I just wanna tell you the most important thing I feel what that does for us. It identifies problematic officers early. Not after an incident like this happens, but before it happens. If we have an officer that's stopping an inordinate amount of a certain race, of African Americans, of Hispanics, of whites, whatever it may be, it identifies for that, that for us in real time and lets us nip the problem in the bud, correct it, or eliminate the officer. Thank you. I'm going to leave you now, and I'm going to give the mic back to Matthew. I just want to say thank you. 
Thank you for coming out and showing your support for this worthy cause, because it's as worthy to us as it is to you. And thank you for doing it the right way. Showing respect to the No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. 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 No